Well, what an interesting way to start the week, right? We've got a situation where effectively some type of a, of a flash crash has happened here. We've got Bitcoin moving down about, you know, a little under 4%, Ethereum moving down about 3%. Kind of what's new? What's going on? Why is this happening? Well, it has to do with some fear, uncertainty, and doubt out there. Uh, Binance, there's some stuff going on around them. It has to do with um, outflows or what are perceived as outflows of Bitcoin moving off of the Binance uh, exchange north of 175,000 plus Bitcoin. Uh, Binance is saying that that is actually them moving it between wallets. There's a lot of moving parts to this, so some finger pointing, things of that nature. So we're going to talk about all that in this video. As always, thanks for your support. And at the end of the day, here's what this comes down to. I think that this is just kind of a minor blip here technical term blip and what's going on. So we're going to uh, jump into this. Uh, oh, actually, let me set something here real quick. I apologize. I didn't actually set it to where I could share my screen. So I have to share my screen with you. Uh, there we go. Okay. So usually set that up before I get started. All right. So Bitcoin and everything moving down, uh, the entire market down about three and a half plus percent. As I said, Bitcoin moving down about 3.5. So let's take a look at what kind of the, the, uh, 24 hour. That's new. That's a different view of it. Interesting. Okay. So the 24 hour, um, okay. This is, this is a different view of it when I click into it. Interesting. Okay. So they changed this. Usually it's right over here on the right. So I'm being thrown some, uh, curve balls today. Where is my 24 hour range market cap volume? So what I'm looking for is that usually that little sliding bar that shows me, what my 24 hour is. There it is. They just moved it down. 27,691. You know, it's just been, it, there you go. You just got to keep, keep moving on. So we're close to that. And then the uh, 24 hour high is 29,000. Okay. So continuing to move on, we've got Bitcoin, Ethereum, like I said, doing their thing. So here is the, here's what's going on. So we have some FUD going out there relationship in relationship to uh, kind of the overall market. Remember the thing I told you about where we had over the in the last 24 to 36 hours, we've kind of had this move down, this push down. There's some FUD surrounding Binance, the movement of Bitcoin. Uh, a lot is going on. And so we've also got high, high fees. If you have bought anything on the DEX side, the decentralized side, you've seen fees as high as north of a hundred plus dollars. I personally have, have seen that too. I've been buying and selling on the on the decentralized side in the last week or so. Uh, and definitely have seen high fees. And those high fees, I think, are kind of putting pressure, you know, some fear and like, why are we paying all these fees now that we've moved to, you know, Ethereum proof of stake versus proof of work and all this kind of stuff. There's a lot of, again, fear and certainty. Uh, Binance is adding to the confusion, pausing Bitcoin withdrawals. There's been three times uh, that Binance has paused Bitcoin withdrawals over their citing network congestion. There's people saying that they are not congested, that they're, you know, it's just a whole thing. And there's a lot moving. There's a lot going into this, right? And so you've got, again, fear. You've got, anytime you see something going on with like a Binance, you've got fear kind of coming out. Uh, you know, but here's a, here's a silver lining kind of thing is that, uh, data still shows that miners are still selling their holdings. Leading analysts include that the 2022 bear market is still in play. Okay. Cause the miners are still holding again, got a lot of, a lot of conflicting information out there that is going on. Here's what I was telling you where, um, Binance halted right here has halted trading, on their network siting congestion. Again, the largest exchange in the world, this freaks people out when they start to see, hey, I cannot basically buy and sell my Bitcoin uh, because of these uh, these halting scenarios. So this is Binance saying that the outflow are actually movement between Binance hot and cold wallets due to the BTC address adjustments. This has to do with Bitcoin ordinals and things of that nature. Again, a lot of kind of technical stuff moving in play here. So there's there's a scenario playing out where you kind of as a kind of everyday man uh, on the street, if you will, it's like, OK, who do you believe? What's going on? All that kind of stuff. So here's what it comes down to at the end of the day, right, is that. You've got the market pressure moving down. You've got kind of uh, fear uncertainty. Uh, this is a minor little flash crash. This is not something that's going to, this is not a, I think a long-term deal. This is just a minor pressure moves, move down scenario. At least that's what the data is telling me. That's what the information is telling me right here, right now. I'll keep you updated as I know more. As always, crypto is uh, never dull. All right, we'll see you. Bye.